One of the things that I love about what I do is that it just continually inspires me to practice. That's one of the reasons I still love creating content and I love working with Jason is because it brings me back to remembering why I do yoga. After practicing and teaching yoga for over 20 years, only now do I feel like I have the experience and the wisdom and the knowledge to fully teach people in the most accurate, complete, thorough, and relevant way. So that when you come to yoga, you're not just practicing for 90 minutes here and there, but you're going inside and you're doing this practice in a way that is gonna make a significant positive impact in all facets of your life. I started the podcast for two reasons. The first reason is simply that I want as many people as possible to have access to high quality yoga and meditation teachings. The second reason is that I was really excited about the medium of podcasting. I had been an editor of a magazine for more than 10 years and I was ready to grow creatively and connect with my audience more intimately. As a teacher, I have to look at improvements that we can make with regards to how our students learn. And the biggest challenge that I see right now in modern yoga is that students aren't learning in a consistent way because one class rarely relates to another class. So one of the main things that I'm focused on as a yoga instructor is making sure that students are learning in a very consistent, methodical, and efficient way over time. I'm bringing updated, modern, accurate, and sensible changes to all of the techniques to make sure that we aren't just trusting a technique because it's old and it's been said before, but because it fits in with the contemporary understanding of how bodies work. It's taken Jason and I years to fully join together, but it makes sense. It has made sense for us to, to unite our skill sets and our strengths because it's always just been a natural part of our relationship to talk about and process yoga and on the mat and off the mat. It's just always been a natural weaving in and out of our lives. We have this conversation and we share this passion and this interest and it informs the way we communicate with each other. It informs the way we communicate with the world. And so we're really happy to be doing it in this more official way. Andrea and I have been working together, developing, creating yoga content since long before we were married. So it's been a dream of ours to continue to pool our resources. Me focusing more on the live, in-room teaching and training, and her more in the content development, the writing, the Yoga Land podcast. Ultimately, all of these things are put together for you, whether you're a practitioner or a practitioner and a teacher, to stay well informed and to stay inspired. Jason and I want to continue to grow and evolve in our practice and in our teaching. And we think that this way of teaching together really works for us and really serves our community well. And we hope that you will continue to come back and listen to the podcast or that we'll meet you in person at a training sometime. Individually, Andrea and I provide slightly different access points for yoga. Together, we're offering this comprehensive piece that allows you to be a strong contemporary practitioner of yoga, but also one that you're using that yoga to navigate uh, and to enjoy the contours of modern life.